welcome everyone this is your own channel learner saga in the previous videos we have discussed the story of the fun they had and we have discussed up to paragraph number 7 in those videos in this video we will discuss the remaining portion of the story the fun they had but before starting i like to request you to press the like button and subscribe the channel if you are new and to comment and share the video so without wasting any time let's begin but my mother says a teacher has to be adjusted to fit the mind of each boy and girl it teaches and that each kid has to be taught differently so as we have noticed in our previous videos that margie and tommy had a debate on the mechanical teacher versus the man as a teacher now margie said my mother says a teacher has to be adjusted to fit the mind of each boy and girl it teaches her mother says that a teacher should uh, cope up with each and every boy or girl that it is that it teaches and that each kid has to be taught differently okay it was told by margie's mother just the same they didn't do sorry just the same they didn't do it that way then if you don't like it you don't have to read the book so now again it's a debate between margie and tommy now tommy is saying just the same they didn't do it that way then as your mother said to you that a teacher has to adjust according to the mindset of each and every student but it was not so with the case of the older generations teachers when the teachers were human beings so if you don't like this idea if you don't like this story you don't have to read the book i didn't say i didn't like it margie said quickly so margie uh, on being snubbed she said she had never said that she didn't like it she wanted to read about those funny schools because she wanted to read about those funny schools they were according to her funny they were not even half finished when margie's mother called margie school they were reading the story but when they have finished the half portion then margie was called out by her mother that she has to attend school margie looked up not yet mama we know that margie hated the school now said mrs jones mrs jones again said now you have to attend right now and it's probably time for tommy too and tommy it's your time too you two get ready margie said to tommy can i read the book some more with you after school so margie has now the attraction she was now enticed with the idea of reading the story then tommy said maybe he said nonchalantly okay so now uh, tommy he was not uh, paying heed too much to margie calmly he said nonchalantly means calmly here the word is nonchalantly nonchalantly means calmly silently he said maybe he walked away whistling the dusty old book tucked beneath his arm so without paying attention to margie simply he said maybe maybe we will read this story after our school and then he walked away whistling giving whistles and the dusty old book was tucked was under his arm was tucked beneath his arm means was under his arm margie went into the school room so now margie went to the school room to attend class 
it was right next to her bedroom so the school was the very side room the next room was the school room his bedroom's next room was the school room margis mechanical teacher was on and waiting for her it was always on at the same time every day except saturday and sunday so you can understand it's a machine it has the system it gets itself on on the at the same time each and every day at the same time except saturday and sunday so when margi was uh, when margi went to her school room the mechanical teacher was already on and was waiting for margi you can see here that margi was reading was studying with her mechanical teacher because her mother said little girls learn better if they learn at regular hours and again her mother said another uh, fine thing that the little girls if they learn at regular intervals at regular hours they learn better the screen was lit up it said today's arithmetic lesson is on the addition of proper fractions please insert your study's homework in the proper slot so quite mechanically the mechanical teacher addresses margi to provide the yesterday's homework in the proper slot and also said that today's topic the day's topic was arithmetic lesson and it was about the addition of proper fractions margi did so with a sigh without having any other option margi had to follow it with a deep breath she was thinking about the old schools they had okay so now margi was thinking about the old schools they had that means their ancestors margis or tommy's grandfathers grandfathers they used to have centuries ago when her grandfather's grandfather was a little boy yes they had that privilege all the kids from the whole neighborhood came laughing and shouting in the school yard sitting together in the school room going home together at the end of the day so not only at at those days school meant something educational institution only rather it also had the privilege for the students to play to meet with each other and to have fun and enjoyment they learned the same things so they could help one another with the homework and talk about it another advantage that they had that was as they learned the same thing they could help one another in their homework and they have a they would have a discussion about that and the teachers were people another thing that's important on those days the teachers were human beings the mechanical teacher was flashing on the screen when we add fractions half and 1/4 like that but while margi was thinking she was pondering about those old golden days that she had not the privilege she is missing thereby the mechanical teacher was doing its duty it shows on the screen the mathematical calculations the explanations when we add fractions half and fractions half and, and that all margi was thinking about how the kids must have loved it in the old days but margi's mind was shifted to another world she was thinking about the old generation school and their teacher she was thinking about the fun they had and margi was thinking about the fun that their grandfathers grandfathers generation used to have so previously although margi said that she disliked the idea of school 
after reading after learning uh, about the previous days about the previous generation schools she also uh, started to like the previous school do, school days the previous generation teachers so this was the story about it as it is a science fiction it tells about the future generation stories one day uh, might come when the our future generations may study like this as isaac asimov the great russian born american writer he for he foretold it's a science fiction as i told you okay students so we have completed this chapter but if you have any doubt regarding any portion you may ask me in the comment section i will try to solve your problem okay so till then goodbye